let's have a look today at the sequencer function on the ix20 in order to have a sequencing of door opening on a retractable turbine so the up sequence is fairly easy opening the door timing a little bit and then extending the turbine on the down sequence it's a little bit more complicated we want to switch of the turbine will be still in the air so we'll be cooling with the relative wind uh, flying and after 27 seconds we will retract the turbine and at 30 second mark we will shut down the door here is a retract of the turbine and shutting down the door let's see now how we can get that done using the sequencer function of the ix20 so in this example we're going to be using x plus one has one of the door x plus two has the other door and x plus five has the retract mechanism for the turbine so we'll go first into sequencer i'm going to use one of the free sequencer here uh, the switch that I'm going to be using is going to be switch C. So switch C on this position that's going to be extended. And on the two other positions that's going to be my down position. Uh, that normal here is a timing. So the return sequence is going to last 30 seconds, which is the max. And the up sequence is going to be lasting 5 seconds. Don't forget to validate, otherwise it's not going to save it. So my channel A going to be my one of my door, X plus 1. My channel B going to be the retract mechanism, X plus 5. I'm going to use step and not proportional. Now, you have the forward movement. Here is the table that summarizes the first sequence, the forward sequence with beginning of the sequence, end of the sequence. This is the scale of time, so zero second, and it has, we have five seconds here. This is two and a half second. The starting position for the first servo, the second initial position for the second servo. So our first position is going to be everything is down. Then we, what we will do is we will open the door, and the door will open all, all the time. And here, at mid time we will get the SLS out so we'll start with door close and here SLS down zero seconds we will right away open the doors still with the SLS down and at two and a half seconds we'll pop the SLS out and this is the end of the sequence, five seconds, with doors out, SLS out. Now, the way back. So the way back, you still have the initial values that we pre-filled previously. So you have zero second here and 30 seconds. So we want to cool down the engine as long as we can. So we're going to modify here the scale of time that 25% here, we're going to move it to 10%. So 30 seconds until 27 seconds, nothing, nothing going to happen. And then we will retract the SLS and close the door. So here, here. We do and at ten percent here we gonna calm down. So the timer gonna start twenty seven second we will pop the engine in and thirty second we'll close the door. That's basically how you set up this sequencer. So now if we go back we will see in the channel assign mm -hmm. 
that on the X plus, the X plus one has been renamed S3A, which is the first channel of the sequencer, and X plus five has been named S3B, which is the SLS. As we have a second door, we're gonna allocate that second door to S3A. So both door is gonna be driven by the same movement. And now, if you go back onto the sequencer, so we'll still have the way it is interlaced. And what's happening now is you can see the cursor here is at zero second. So we're gonna play the switch. There we go. So five seconds here. Now we are on the second condition. We're gonna bring it down, so 30 seconds. Here is the 30 seconds that are coming slowly but surely. We're now retracting the SLS and now closing the door. Simple enough. Same thing here on the channel monitor. So you're going to see the swap, the door open, and the SLS will get out. 30 seconds.